Hey guys, good evening. Uh, early January 2023, and I'm actually up in a different room in my house than I normally am. And that's because uh, this video is about my trip to a vet with this boa constrictor. And as soon as I thought that there was something going wrong on it, obviously wrong with it, I ripped it out of my snake room and pulled it up here for biosecurity reasons. So um, basically, I just wanted to tell you up front that I didn't get good news from the vet. It was not the worst news possible. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about the, what my news was, what I was thinking, and why I took this bow to the vet and put $500 into diagnostic testing, uh, and then talk about what we found out and what the long term on this is. And so the reason for making this video is basically because I wanted a model that good keepers take six snakes to their vet, uh, and also that um, not all health issues are necessarily directly linked to your husbandry. I'm not saying I'm immune to husbandry issues, but also, I'm a decent keeper, and um, it's easy to think that your uh, illnesses and things are directly attached to husbandry, and they usually are. But that's not always the case, and this is an example of a little more um, obscure thing that went on. But So, the bad news is this snake got an ultimately fatal diagnosis, and I'll just tell you that's sad because um, it's my personal pet. It's also a breeding stock. I put a lot of time into this, not like, uh, you know, losing a human or even a dog, but um, I'm affectionate towards these animals, so I'm, it pissed in my Cheerios when I figured out that was going to happen. But I also wanted to let you know that um, somebody like me who's got a number of these animals, they're not only just thinking about this animal when they see something peculiar pop up in an animal. They're worried about their whole collection and something catchy, contagious going through. So um, I would say that the news I got was not good news, but it's definitely not the worst news I could get. So as a keeper with a collection, the things that I'm really concerned about are things that will wipe out my collection. Fire, heating failures and freezing, um, or some sort of pathogen that ripped through my collection. And um, so just right off the bat, I got a full metabolic and viral panels on this. They basically tested it for everything they, they could think of to test it for reptiles. And it tested negative for all viruses, including Nido, Crypto, and IBD Arena. So, um, you know, when this snake started acting funny, I was really worried that there's something weird going on uh, that was catchy, and that is a relief. But um, essentially what the diagnosis from those panels were, was that um, this snake has moderate anemia and very poor kidney function. In other words, it's kidneys are degenerating, it's got uh, degenerative kidney disease. And, um, there's a really weird long history with this animal of me suspecting something was going wrong and it is about two months ago that there was a house fire that something was going wrong with the snake and over the last 18 24 months I was primarily noticing um, chain shedding just shed after shed after shed and also its skin was starting to look just weird and unhappy and just very irritated and I was thinking it was dermatitis I was thinking you know switching out different substrates doing all sorts of beta dyne subs and a whole bit um, and that was a primary um, primary symptom. Its belly would get this weird mottled discoloration, kind of angry scalation, which I thought was dermatitis, but it turned out that's actually because its liver, uh, its kidneys not functioning properly, and it's getting like almost like bruising and toxicity in its skin, and that's what's uh, going on with it. Um, other than that, it would not put on weight. It would grow and grow and grow, and it would eat and eat and eat, but it would always be this thin, and. Um, Towards the last six months or so, I was catching this odd odor from it. I can't even describe it, but um, I now think that that's probably because um, its kidneys aren't functioning right, so it's got a buildup of urates and things. So it was just an odd, not ammonia, but just an odd smell in that family that I was getting out of the cage. Real mild because I was super hygienic with it because I think it was dermatitis, but um, uh, odor was also an issue. But um, So essentially, its metabolic panels are saying that its kidneys are failing. And um, that could potentially be cancer. Um, although the advice the vet said is that if it were cancer, that it would um, probably likely its metabolic panels would have shown that there's still some kidney function because it would have been unilateral. And this seems to be going on both. And there's very poor kidney function on this snake. Uh, and so beyond that, it's, it's kidney failure. And there's no exact known cause for it. If I really wanted to figure that out, I'd have to go through ultrasounding. Uh, and the long-term prognosis, according to the vet, is that you could possibly stave this uh, the fatality off by giving it long courses of different antibiotics, different medications, and also daily soaks or injectables of fluids. So um, that's how you would support this to extend its life. 
Um, and what I've done in the last month since I took it to the vet, I guess I should say the reason I made the appointment, I'm thing that really made me sure that it was having an issue is it had the worst sheds you could imagine. It just had like stuck sheds, you know, that you could not get off with multiple soaks. And I know that wasn't a humidity issue. And so that was when it went from me suspecting something was going on, just little angry, low key simmering things to this is really bad. And I just knew it wasn't my husbandry. And so I need, wanted to investigate it. And it also, um, after that, it started to look like a snake that's going to die. I don't know if you've ever dealt with a really ill snake, but it, there's just a feel to them. Um, and went to the vet, pumped it full of antibiotics, which gave it a boost. I pulled it out here, and this is really an incubator setup. I'm keeping it warm, like close to 90 degrees. And um, that seemed to, over the course of that month of the antibiotics, it did perk it up. You know, the snake is uh, really actually looks pretty good, although it's a little bit thin um, and underweight, and its skin's a little angry. It did perk it all up. So the truth of the matter is I could probably extend the snake's life by giving it, you know, um, long courses of antibiotics and, and daily injections of fluid into its you know, body cavity or whatnot. But um, that's just where I am with this snake. I don't know what you guys think. I have a little bit of an opinion that I'm not going to be um, a hero about this. Um, it's emotionally a little hard to take because the snake looks really good right now. But I also have to acknowledge that that's because I've just done a really intensive month of supportive work on it. And I've been full course of antibiotics, um, daily antibiotics in an incubator type situation, just been basically giving it everything I can to lift it up and it's still not perfect. So long-term prognosis is fatal. Um, I'm not emotionally prepared to euthanize it right now. It's just, it looks too healthy and um, it's, there's nothing catchy. So I don't see a lot of reason, but I also know that this is probably gonna end up backsliding and so, um, I'm going to make that choice, but um, that's just where we are. I wanted to be open with you and let you know I'm relieved that it's nothing contagious in my collection, but I'm also, this boa, I've had it for five years, and it's a pet, and it's also a potential breeder, and it's a big loss, and I'm sad about it. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Post about if you've had any little weird or non-common health issues with your snake, so... Um, that's just where we are, but I wish I had better news for Guy, but that's where it is. So I just thought I'd put it out there, and I think it's important that we talk about these things. Take care.